Hello everybody, my name is Nicholas Powers with Aero Electronics and we're going to be continuing our lessons on Bluetooth Low Energy. In Bluetooth Low Energy, information is exchanged via packets. There's really no streaming available due to this, and there are two kinds of packets that are defined, advertising packets and data packets. Devices use advertising packets to find or connect to other devices or to broadcast data. Data packets are used once a connection has been made is understandable by only two devices, a master and a slave. The advertising packets use channels 37, 38, and 39. Channels 0 through 36 are used for data packets. The link layer handles all of these packets. Now, both packets have a similar structure split into six blocks. There's a preamble of 8 bits, an access address of 32 bits, a header of 8 bits, a length of the payload also coded in 8 bits, and in Bluetooth 4.1, data of 296 bits max for advertising packets and 248 bits max for data packets. At the end of it all, there's a cyclic redundancy check or CRC coded with 24 bits. This helps to prevent collisions. In this lesson, we're gonna focus on the advertising packets. For these packets, the access address is defined as a fixed value by the SIG, 0x8E89BED6. This means the preamble is 01010101 or 0x55 in hexadecimal. The 8-bit header has the following meaning. 4 bits of the 7 define the type of advertising packet. You have general advertising indication, direct connection indication, non-connectable indication, scannable indication, active scanning request, active scanning response, and connection request. 2 bits are reserved for future use, 1 bit for transmission address type. If it's equal to zero, it's a public address, and if it's equal to one, it's a random address. Now there's one bit for the receive address type. As the transmission bit, it indicates if the initiator's address is public or random. The payload length of the advertising packet is between six and 37 bytes and always includes six bytes of the advertising device address. In general advertising indication, there are 31 bytes that allow data to be shown, like the name of the device, power level, services supported on the device. In direct connection indication, only six bits of the initiator address are sent. This case is used to reconnect quickly to a given peer device and where the devices already know each other, hence there's no extra necessary data for advertising. Non-connectable indication and scannable indication have similar payload to general advertising indication. Finally, the CRC, that is a 24-bit sequence. This length is strong enough to detect all odd numbers of bit errors as well as 2 and 4-bit errors. This means that all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, and so on bit errors are detected in all packets. The CRC is calculated over the header, length, and payload fields. The CRC value is the following. The CRC is x to the 24 plus x to the 10 plus x to the 9 plus x to the 6 plus x to the 4 plus x to the 3 plus x plus 1. I got it! <laughs> Each time a device advertises, it transmits the same packet in one, two, or three advertising channels and is called an advertising event. All the advertising events can be sent as often as 20 milliseconds to as infrequent as every 10.28 seconds. There's an exception for the direct connection indication that has the goal to connect as fast as possible. In this case, the complete advertising event must be repeated every 3.75 milliseconds. The problem with sending packets this quickly is that the advertising channels will become congested with direct advertising packets, resulting in all other devices in the area not being able to advertise themselves. For this reason, direct advertising is not allowed to continue for more than 1.28 continuous seconds. If not connected after this time, only a general advertising message is allowed for the device still to be connectable. The GAP layer defines more timing and configuration that are studied in the video GAP layer. It's now time to play with our eval boards and check how the advertising packet changes with our programming. Company's identifiers are on the following link. Cypress, for example, is 0x0131, TI is 0x000D, ST Micro is 0x0030, Silicon Labs is 0x02FF, Nordic Semi is 0x0059. These are just a few of the uh, companies that actually make Bluetooth devices. You can go for, find more at the link that we posted.